All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are going to be looking at Machine Angel Absolute Ritual. It's not very often that I look at just a ritual monster or just a ritual card, but I'm going to call an exception on this one because this card doesn't have too much synergy with Nasatea, which we read on Monday, except with the card that we're also going to look at. So we're, you're going to get a two for one. You know, I, I'm not going to sit here and just cop out and just give you the ritual monster and then not and then not do the ritual spell and do the ritual spell and not give ritual. So we're going to do two for one because. Machine Angel Absolute Ritual, I think, should be separated from Nasatea, but the monster, the other monster, Cyber Tutu Von, I don't think it deserves its own video because I think the card's kind of shitty. So, uh, but it is in the whole Cyber Angel archetype and all of that. So let's go ahead and start off with card number one. So, Machine Angel Absolute Ritual. So, it is a ritual spell card, obviously. Uh, and let's go ahead and see if it's kind of different from just regular machine into ritual if it's if it's worth being played over it and all that so this card is used to ritual summon any cyber angel ritual monster all right must also you must also tribute monsters from your hand field or field and or shuffle any combination of fairy or warrior type monsters from your graveyard into your deck whose total level is exactly equal to the level of the ritual monster you are ritual summoning so you're probably wondering, like, what's up with the warrior? Because obviously fairy, they're all fairies, but why warrior? Well, of course, all of Alexis cards, some of them are warriors, and then the card that we're also going to look at in this video, Cyber Tutu Bond, is also a warrior. <laughs> Cyber Tutu Bond. But uh, this card is interesting. Interesting. And I was sitting here comparing them, and yeah, I'm going to have to say, and I'm going to have to say, that despite the whole, like, oh my god, you can shuffle, you know, the fairies and the warriors back to ritual summon, I'm going to have to give it to the original Cyber Angel Ritual that, I'm going to say that one is the better card over this one. And the reason why I'm going to say that is because, A, that exact level, God, that exact level kind of kills it. It's nice that you can, you know, tribute monsters from your hand, your field, and in return, that's pretty nice, you know, that if I want to summon like a, you know, like an I to 10, I can put back a, uh, a Cyber Petite Angel and a Manju, put them back in my deck, you know, summon that's okay you know and generally you nag on your ritual summons but this you you wouldn't nag i mean of course you would have to play this card from your hand and then summon the monster so you're still technically lagging, but you're not nagging from the tributing of the monster now, of course generally you want to tribute like a ben 10 so you get the surge so that's nice uh but if i'm shuffling back the monsters back into my deck that means that i'm not trading for my hand for like the ben 10 or i'm not using my uh ritual sanctuary to you know get those monsters back from the graveyard to get the ritual summon like manju yeah sure return by cyber teen angel i mean that's a summon search right you know my my uh stick and chair that's a summon and search so uh it's kind of like where do you want to go with it and like i said you have to have that exact level whether it be six for you know i ten or ben 10 eight for your uh for your I forgot the name of it and <laughs> uh, I'm actually forgetting the name of the Cyber Angels. The Cyber Angels. The your Dakini, uh, Dakini or Ten for your your Vishnu. You gotta have the exact uh, levels well. Sometimes you don't wanna do that, you know? So it's like if I wanted to ritual summon my Nasatea, if I use this particular card, I would have to it would have to be a level five, you know? Uh Whose, to whose level is exactly level. So it's not like I can go Machine Angel Ritual, Tribute Ben 10, Summon Nasate, and then Ben 10 give me that search, because, you know, Ben 10 6 and Nasate is 5, but I meet the requirements, you know, we're good. So, you know, eat the level or above. This has to be exact, so I have to tribute exactly a 5 for to summon my Nasate, which is it. And another big gripe and reason why I think Machine Angel Ritual is better than this absolute one, despite the whole, like, well, I'm not, I'm going to tribute someone and I get to return my monsters back to my deck. I really don't care about that, you know. If anything, returning monsters back to the deck is not the greatest thing, because now you're filling up your deck, which means that you're going to get to the cards remaining in your deck less, you know. Deck count, you know, keep that in mind, deck setting. So, that's kind of a, yeah, at times, you know, because you could easily dead drawn to the monsters that you did, uh, and the cards that you shuffled, just shuffled back. But this card doesn't give you that protection that, you know, Machine Angel Ritual does. And that, that protection, that definitely does help at times. It definitely does. So, there's no extra bonus on this card. You just play it. There's no, you know, protection. And while it's not unusual for you know ritual cards to ritual summon ritual monsters as of late you know we kind of getting a little bit more with Harold and Sephira and the, you know the cyber angels and necros you want a little bit more with your ritual summoning card so the fact that this card doesn't add any extra oomph to it just kind of eh. but let's go ahead and review that other card that 
we're just gonna slap it on here, tag it on, but I don't think it's worth uh, the additional video. Like I said, uh, let's go ahead and look at Tutu Bomb. So this is how you're going to be summoning Natsutea off of this card. That's pretty much the synergy, that whole warrior. So Cyber Tutu Bomb. She is a Earth level five warrior effect monster, 1800 attack, 600 defense. So level five with only 1800 attack, I mean, come on. Come on, them stats are just meh. Yeah. All right. Her effect reads, you can special summon this card from your hand by attributing one warrior or fairy type monster from your hand or feel. Why the hell would I ever do that? Ever. Ever. You know? Not, I mean, it's cool that she can special summon herself instead of just, you know, actually conducting her tribute summon. But why the hell would I really want to summon her? She's, it's not like her stats are totally worth her being on the field. So, I still nag. You know, you still take your nag. But, why would I want to summon her? You know, why the hell would I ever want to summon her? It's, it's just dumb, you know? If anything, uh, maybe tribute her for, you know, to for Ben 10, for the search. Because Ben 10 just says, if this card is tributed, it doesn't even have to be tributed for a ritual summon. If this card is tributed, period, you can add one light fairy monster from your deck to your hand, so that's a thing. But outside of that, you know, why? Why would I ever want to summon Tutupon outside of tributing for Ben 10? And even that, it's kind of like, eh. Because I tribute, special on her, and then Bento gets searched. I don't neg like I would if I would use her on any other warrior or fairy type monster, but she's just not worth the summon. And then her second effect, and this card is tributed for a ritual summon, you can target one ritual spell card in your graveyard and that's your hand. So it sucks that you can't even like that she's kind of she's not like Ben 10. Well, Ben 10's like, hey, if I'm tributed, period, I'm gonna get that search. This card, if this card is tributed for a ritual summon, it'd be nice if you had multiple Cyber Tutu Bonds, you tribute Cyber Tutu Bond in your hand, put some Cyber Tutu Bond, then Cyber Tutu Bond in the graveyard. If it's tributed, you get to add a ritual spell card back from your graveyard to your hand. But no, it has to be, if it's tributed for a ritual summon, i.e., if it's tributed for Nasatea, because that's really what you're going to do, then you get to add back your either Machine Injury Troy or your Absolute. But I just don't think that she's worth playing. I, I really don't, you know? Uh, I don't think she's worth playing in pure Cyber Angels. It's a little bit of Herald mixed in with fear of anything. I just, I don't think this card's that great, and I don't think it was worthy of its own video, Cyber 2 2 on. Every video been like one minute. Just like, this card is not worth it. Net moving on, you know? And with Machine Angel Absolute Ritual, I'm, like I said, I'm kind of debating on that one as well. Like I said, it's nice that you don't take the neg if you return, but it has to be that exact level. Uh, overall, I just kind of feel that what the, this card and Tutu Bond really don't add too much to the Cyber Angel rich, you know, formula. It really doesn't, you know. Your regular one, it can exceed, which is awesome. You tribute, you're generally going to tribute for your Ben 10 or your I 10 and, you know, get that uh, search and plus so you don't pick the neg on that too hard. It doesn't have to be the exact level. It can be over and it, pl and it protects you. This card... You know, if I return, then I guess that's okay. But, you know, the monsters that I really want to summon, you know, like the, you know, the uh, Daikini and stuff like that, it would have to be like really, it would be like two monsters in the graveyard, then I play this, return the Manju, summon the Daikini, or, you know, uh, the, the Vishnu would have to be like two, uh, two Manjus and then. Cyber Petite Angel, you know, it's just really situational. That exact level is just killing this card, so I'm, I just, you know, I'd rather just go over and take the neck. I'd probably play like, maybe like one of this, still three regular, regular is the best, you know, maybe one of this, because, you know, it could be situational, especially since uh, when Ida 10 hits the field, it can search for it, so that's pretty nice, but I wouldn't play any of Cyber Tutu Bond, -tub like, no, not even, not even. So, uh, there you go, you got a two for one, so, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card. If you tell me what you guys think about Machine Angel Rich, uh, Absolute Ritual and uh, Cyber Tutu Bond in the comment section below. So, of course, next week we'll be back with some more cards. We got plenty of more cards to look at. We got new cards every day, uh, pretty much every week, you know. Uh, it was asked with that whole new XC on top, Beast Warrior. I will probably just do one big old video, you know, we did two in this video, so maybe next video we can literally just look at, like, all 11 cards and just get it out the way. Um, we won't be playing that deck on Daily Duels rep because, you know, we have no time and space, 
uh, for it. But maybe the series after Daily Duels is over, where we just live stream and play whatever, we'll get a chance to play it. So a little bit more flexibility than Daily Duels, which is kind of rigid. So we're going to look forward to that after I review the cards. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. As I said, we'll be back next week with some more cards to look at. So thanks for watching, thanks for support, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.